you'll notice. Yeah. So, if you're a new Big Brother viewer, you won't be familiar with echoey voices over the house. But they mm. did like series one, series two, like in the early days, mm. all the way through to like I don't know, probably all Channel Four's ones. But there weren't that. I didn't feel like there were that many iconic quotes to put out over the house this year. Well, it would have just all been Lewis, wouldn't it? Well, yeah. I like, will someone shut that bathtub up? I would have liked to have heard uh, that, yeah, that over the good, bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, but so all the... Zoo. So the lights going out in the house, mm. they clearly filmed those shots previously because yeah. some of the beds were made and stuff, which mm. was a giveaway. But um, the diary room, the yeah. lights went up oh. instead of down. Oh. And I thought it was a very subtle thing they did there. Oh. The lights went up on the diary room and it said, Big Brother will get back to you. Oh. And then it just faded to black and was the end of the show. That's good. Oh, and we never mentioned they changed the start credits, didn't they? Uh, so the what Big was Brother it? Forever. And let the mind games continue. continue. Yeah, it was really nice to that do that. That picture of us is really nice. In Especially because it says forever. Forever behind. Who took that? Molly? Gary? Someone? Jared? I don't know. I handed my phone to someone to take I, that picture. I look like I'm in love with you in that picture. I look like I'm in love with you. I'm kissing you on the head. No, oh, that's nice. Is that the one? I think so, yeah. There's a couple. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I know, that's a different one, I think. And then... Oh, I got really sentimental about my boyfriend. Why? Because I put that on my Snap, um, Instagram story. You're not kissing me on that one, are you? That's a different one. It's just kissing towards you, but mm. no, there is one where I'm actually kissing you. Kissing towards you. Um, <laughs> I get very sort of lovey when I'm drunk sometimes. Mm, don't we all? Planting kisses on everyone I was. Mm, um, careful. So, um... Yeah, on my Instagram story, I put that picture saying forever. Mm. And my boyfriend replied with Viva, for, like, Viva yeah. forever. And we've been talking about the Spice Girls coming back that day. I was just seeing that in the bathroom. Yeah, How odd. So I was like, I just got like, mm-hmm. I was like, oh, that's my that's my kind of man. Yeah. <laughs> so then everyone started sobbing. Yeah. Jared was literally shaking sobbing. Yeah. And Jared said, he raised a point. Like he was really, really upset by it. Because he's actually a Channel 5 Big Brother fan. Mm. Like, he wasn't part of it during mm. the Channel 4 era. Mm. And he said, like, we have said goodbye mm. to it before. Yeah, that's true. And we've seen it come back and go on for another that's eight true. years. Mm. But he hasn't. So yeah, he really he feels like it's, it's the it's... end. Yeah, that's true. And for these, especially a lot of the BBC fans we were talking to, don't even watch the international versions. Mm. So some do don't get me wrong but some don't exactly so then, I don't but, I don't feel complete loss because I know yeah, we've got Canada coming up exactly which I care about as much as this and it's not the same it's not the same well we but, can't be as close to it as this no but still it's, it it's is, good it is ironic though like you said in your blog like it feels like this year for us doing this podcast yeah. it's really taken off yeah and, like we may be completely deluded mm. but like just by being allowed to go meet those producers, mm. like being invited into the house at the start of it, you just feel like you matter to Big Brother in a way. And yeah. to have made friends with Arissa yeah. and to get to podcast with her mm. and w- sit there and watch Big Brother UK with her, mm. like it's just all started to happen. And and then they whip then it out just, from under us. Our Arissa podcast got like about 1,500 on iTunes, you know? It should get another 1,500 more. Yeah. On what? Some other platform that we don't <laughs> even know that we're on. <laughs> it's really good. No, but you know, podcasts have got life in them. People will still continue to listen to that. Oh yeah, that's true. In the future, I should do. And we can push it again when BB Cam Seven comes out. Mm, that's true, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we had those pictures of Arissa with our t-shirts on. I know. Shares. I didn't tweet. I didn't use uh, mine. Arissa got us t-shirts and gloves. She actually printed us t-shirts. Yeah, how cool is that? Which, basically, Arissa handed us handed us these t-shirts and I looked at it and read it and I was like Rob King and then I went is this about Gary like when when Gary didn't win it's like no it's about you losing Big Brother UK I was like oh okay (laughs) (laughs) or them taking Big Brother UK away away from you (laughs) and she got us lovely gloves um, the so, problem with those gloves is you need your thumbs to text and they're uh, nice woolly gloves though they're great gloves but don't like, stag off the present for I stuff. also I need to my, my thumb available for contactless payments when I go onto the bus or in mm. through the tube and I have to take the glove off well, what about when you're just walking down the street cold is it alright then it's alright then <laughs> thanks Arissa I do love them <laughs> I wore them the next day. Josh will, gra- will Josh Grant will vouch for that because I wore them on the way to bots. Yeah, you paid him. So, d- should we talk about bot the, the final bots? I was very drunk. Mm-hmm. I watched this oh. in the hotel room. With do you want to talk about your hotel room experience first? 
What should we do, well, Bob's first? There's only limited information I'd like to share about that. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Well, basically, Molly, Molby BK, she's mm. from up north, so she got hotel. Her... She is lovely, by oh, the way. She's just Mo- a babe. We met Molly and Lewis for the first time, and they were absolutely uh, wonderful. I met Lewis at Bob's. Oh, yeah. Before. I met Lewis for the first time, although he is a bit up himself, but he's lovely. But it's funny because, like, with Lewis when I met him the first time I felt like I already knew him mm. and he was just yeah because we always chat to him and he's just we? as I would expect he, him to be yeah he is and then when I met Molly she was exactly like yeah. I expect her to be and as well and she looks exactly like you expect her to look as yeah, well yeah but also I have seen videos of her when she's drunk because we uh. follow each other on Instagram and stuff so yeah I guess you felt you know her more but like during that final mm. and I can't remember at what point because mm. I was so drunk I'm pretty sure for the announcement of the winner, I must have been holding your hand, was I? Yeah, I think so. We were holding hands. Yeah, it was, there was the, some it point. It was towards the end. It must have I been. just had my arms around Molly. Yeah. It just felt like this yeah. was a friend that I'd known for yeah. years. And it was just the right thing to do. Yeah, and it's the same. Like, we're planning, like, a little bit, little shindig. And, like, I just said to Molly, yeah, you can see from my sofa, it's just like, she's a friend who you've yeah. known for ages with. That's what Big Brother does. That's what I said in my blog. Big Brother brings people together. It does. And divides it, them. Even it does, but fuck that. But even like people across the ocean, like Laurie and Rowan, like they're such close friends of ours now. Yeah, and it's because of Big Brother. It's mad. Anyway, go on. <sighs> what happened at the hotel? So we had an after party. We got some drinks, yeah. and we were in time for plus one mm. bots. So we watched bots like mm. an hour later. Um, Molly got a bottle of prosecco. Yeah. Which I proceeded to consume by myself. Did Molly not have any of it? I don't think so. That's bad. I think she was quite d- drunk enough. I would fucking say but so. so. She was doing this since about <laughs> three o'clock. <laughs> but there was a point where she looked like she wanted to vomit. Um, so she kind of stopped. Oh. And then when I realised that she was not going to drink that glass, I was oh. like, bring it on, hand it over <laughs> here. So I, off I went. And then there was all these cans of gin like lying around. So oh, I started nice. on those as well. And it was like pink lemonade gin. Oh, it was I've delicious. Had that. I've had that. So yeah. so tasty. Yeah, I had that, had that in Amsterdam. Um, I can't say too much. Oh, okay. Did you stay over? I stayed over. I slept in a bed with Molly. <laughs> It was, a, it was a mole BBK sandwich with Lewis, controversial Lewis on one side and me on the other. Did did controversial Lewis try to fill you up? Um, in fact, there were, I, had a, I had this dream <laughs> where someone was touching me in the night. Wait a minute. <gasps> no. <laughs> Washing machine. <laughs> nah. Um, no, I actually tried to hug the pair of them, but then it got too uncomfortable. Oh, oh that's cute. Imagine the that's three cute. three of you in bed together. <laughs> This cat. cat is funny. Um, I've got stuff about box. Mon- Mon- no, yeah, no, Molly no, woke up on. real early because she had to get to a I'll meeting. Meet, that is insane. How did she do that? She put the lights on in the room, <laughs> and for a, a minute, I actually thought I was in the Big Brother house. You know, all the lights come on in the morning. Yeah. I was like, what is going on? And then she said to me that I was talking about nominating someone oh, in yeah. my sleep. I said, was it me? I think it was, no, I think it was Molly. I was like, yeah. Molly, you're going to get nominated for putting the lights on. <laughs> Something like that. That's hilarious. And she just left you in the hotel room. That was trusting. It's a cat. Um, yeah, she just was like, make sure you check out by 12. Mm-hmm. So I did. <laughs> Help. I woke... Don't touch him. He's a little beast. <laughs> You're a little beast. Um, I woke up so drunk. Oh, I was, I was rough. still drunk. Oh, I was rough on the way home, Mum. When the soul fell off my shoe. Oof. It was <laughs> literally, I got. I ain't got a soul, but I'm not a soul <laughs> <drunk. laughs> What happened on that box? Because I can't remember. So okay, I got box bits. Um, hold on. Oh, Emma and Rylan were very seemed very emotional on box. I thought, and I thought if it, they have signed a deal for it to come back, you don't think I don't think you'd be that upset. Do you no, know what but I mean? The ending statement was a bit misleading. Well, what did it say? Well, carry on first because I'm sure you'll okay. get there. Um, they said it seemed like the most Big Brother series for ages. It's been a lot of that, which I yeah, think is true. Which is true. Um, a bit uh, of shade on past housemates past though isn't it to mm. say that really but then they were going Rylan was going oh how you passed bots to me Emma and blah 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 and I thought they didn't mention Russell Brand again then and I thought I know Russell Brand was big mouth but still I thought you should have mentioned Russell Brand's a massive star 
he was involved he with Big Brother. He established the Big Brother talk show. Yeah, really. and yeah. it like box would not exist without Russell Brand. So it's very, I was quite surprised that he didn't, unless but, I missed but it. E- but no, he, they didn't mention that. But equally, it wouldn't exist without Dermot. No, because Box is a fusion of BBLB and Big Mouth. Did Dermot do a bit, sing a bit in that song? No, no it would have been Davina. nice to have Russell and Dermot in that. I think. Yeah, Russell but, wouldn't do it. Russell might. Russell sp- speaks very fondly of Big Brother. Does he? In, in his my bookie work, he has a whole chapter on Big Brother Aww. and how like when Fight Night was on, and he, like and he watched it all and how exciting it was and everything. He would and he it was the start of his and career. He slept with a few of the contestants. Did he? <laughs> yeah. Did he? Yeah. Do you remember Becky? Slept with her. She got she. You barely remember her. Becky. Yeah, she was a funny thing, like a little thin little thing. Uh, he slept. I, from I think, which series? I think he slept with Makosi as which well. Which se- he didn't. I can't. I can't which remember, series? I can't is Becky remember from? which series. Five, maybe. Why? Uh, I think she might have been a bit mixed. Fucking, hell, I don't remember that. But he definitely. I think he slept with Makosi as well. I think he slept with someone else as well. You know what he's like back then. Anyway, that's by I the way. He was a sex addict. Yeah, he was. He was definitely a funny rat. Um, so Cameron said in his bots interview about him coming out in the house i couldn't have written it any better <laughs> you did write it um rylan said me marcus and emma this is what i'm saying will make sure big brother will get back to you those are bold words and i think he said i promise you yeah don't make promises you can't keep, Rylan. Me, but when I was surprised, he said, "Me, Marcus, and Emma, like we come as a free, and if not, then you know." <laughs> but we all know that that's think, bullshit. Do you know what though? We've seen Emma jump on Brian's grave as soon as she fucking had the chance. Um. Well, yeah, but <laughs> one thing I will say about Rylan from our experience of meeting him, mm. and everything he's ever shared with us, some of which we've not been able to share, mm. he has had the back of the fans the whole time mm. and and the show, like, oh, God. in its real, in its pure form. So mm. I believe he will do whatever he can, but mm. at the end of the day, it doesn't stand with him, does it? See what Brian Bellow was saying about Ryan then? No, what? You didn't see it? Uh, is it re- recently? Yeah. What did he say? Oh, he was saying Ryland's fake and Ryland. Rylan isn't fit to present the show. Ah, I think it was on. Ah, oh, fuck! I think it was on finale day, and Gary said "fuck off, mate" to him. Good. Honestly, it. Was, but Brian went on one of his. You know, he has his yeah, little diatribe. Like he goes, does a little Kanye West. Yeah. Um. But yeah, like having a go at Rylan. That's not cool because I know Brian Bello is a massive fan. I like Brian Bello, by the way. Um. But I yeah, Rylan I mean, is Bro- a huge Brian, fan as well. Brian is a. But True Big Brother fan, he's but an also international fan. If he's saying that about Rylan, he, Rylan, he doesn't know what he's talking about. I think Brian's probably a bit jealous of Rylan, you know, yeah. in his position. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there was a whole beef, beef thing. You should check it out. That is very unfair, mm. and I would say he's probably speaking out of turn, and that actually doesn't he's, have real experience of Rylan in he's that case. Speaking out of school. Um, so yeah, big me, Marcus and Emma will make sure Big Brother will get back to you. Interesting. So I put All s- of this is optimistic from Big Brother's side and it has to be. Mm. It can't be like... Mind you, last time around they decided to end it with a funeral and bury Big Brother. That's true. In the trailer they put a dye room chair in, in a grave. Mm. They had Marcus come in do an actual funeral. Mm. I remember the so advert. There was actually no... Mm. Talk hint. of yeah, yeah, no hint of it's going to come How back. How soon after that did it come back? The next fucking summer. It was next year, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. Next year. Mm. <laughs> Long. Um, have you have you found it? Have you f- missed it this week? No, because I'm. You know, I don't get to watch it on TV. Yeah. Anyway. Because of my schedule. I've I missed it a couple of times this week. I've only just had been able to try to catch up on. Mm. The last highlight show so i've been enjoying watching dramas and stuff though but i it's a long wait till whichever the next one is isn't it will the next be canada or no, bb celeb bb celeb i'm looking forward to that i'm looking forward to that but i think it's going to be that's not going to be till next year so we've got a long break now which obviously well, i'm sure we'll do a couple of podcasts in between but i don't know there's like a gap there now isn't there well for me at the moment you want it 
I've got a lot of stuff I need to sort out yeah. in my life. So I, I'm I, the same. I, I quite need a break. I, I'm the same as well. But I think we need, do need a, a short break. But I think we'll soon miss it in a, in a month. In a month, we'll miss it. 